Vital Pulp Therapy or VPT aims to maintain the health and function of the dental pulp following injury or carious exposure. The 2024 AIPD Clinical Practice Guidelines emphasize that VPT is indicated for both primary teeth with a vital pulp and no signs of radicular pathology, and for immature permanent teeth with vital pulp regardless of whether pulpitis is reversible or in early stages of irreversible inflammation. Next we will discuss the four vital pulp therapy techniques. 1. Indirect pulp treatment. A biocompatible capping material is placed over remaining demineralized but non-infected dentin to avoid pulp exposure. 2. Direct pulp cap. The capping material is applied directly to a small, exposed pulp area due to mechanical or traumatic exposure. 3. CVAC partial pulpotomy. A portion of the inflamed coronal pulp is removed to preserve healthy radicular pulp. A capping material is applied to the prepared pulp exposure. 4. Full pulpotomy. The entire coronal pulp is removed and the radicular pulp is covered with a pulp capping material and seal. This information can be found in the article Innovations in Bioactive Materials for Dental Pulp Vitality Preservation in Children and Adolescents, published in MDPI in 2025. Vital Pulp Therapy or VPT aims to maintain the health and function of the dental pulp following injury or carious exposure. The 2024 AIPD Clinical Practice Guidelines emphasize that VPT is indicated for both primary teeth with a vital pulp and no signs of radicular pathology, and for immature permanent teeth with vital pulp regardless of whether pulpitis is reversible or in early stages of irreversible inflammation. Next we will discuss the four vital pulp therapy techniques. 1. Indirect pulp treatment. A biocompatible capping material is placed over remaining demineralized but non-infected dentin to avoid pulp exposure. 2. Direct pulp cap. The capping material is applied directly to a small, exposed pulp area due to mechanical or traumatic exposure. 3. CVAC Partial Pulpotomy A portion of the inflamed coronal pulp 